Cure fati uh, restore fatigue potions cheaply. There's ten of them. Don't cost that much. Offer twenty-five for ingredients. You the have my potions and elixirs. Let's see in if town. I can make some. And then sell it right back to them. That does actually work, somewhat. It's not a ma major profit margin, but it's enough. Alright, two. I think being fatigued actually has an effect. So we're going to drink a restore fatigue Care potion. Tell me what this is about. And hopefully we'll be better able to actually focus on our crafting. And let's drink a health potion too. To give us a little pep. To try to do our work in better condition. Okay. We have two of them now, which is what we were looking for. Any time now. Yes. Is that all it does here? Is a rain? Let's Seems hear. that way. Here, action shots of Abriel running. Doesn't he look like a bitter bastard, soaking wet? Looking wet and generally miserable. <laughs> so let's actually try to get better instructions before we go about doing anything. Make it quick, Outlander. So, he's in the upper tower. It's a west-facing entrance from the upper terrace. Suppose you could get there from the great hall or upper hall, but it's confusing you still have to fly. From the west-facing upper terrace entrance, you just take the passage east to Master Leoloth. West-facing upper terrace entrance. Alright, so we need to use our levitate potion. Speak, traveler. Get out of the way. Damn it. I wonder if there's an NPC script for get the hell out of my way right now or I'll stab you. There it goes. Alright, I figured we've had enough of this. We are going to save. We're going to try to get to where we need to go quickly. No fuss. No muss. Let's see what's in here. No, come on, come on. There we go. Make it quick, Outlander. Services. Looking for Naloth. All right, he's not here. Okay, kids, let's look before we leap this time. Alright, levitate. Here we go. Come on. What do you want? And our Dranim. Oh. 
Alright, I am not... I am in no way going back to the Mage's Guild. I am going to quick load, find out what I can do to find this guy. Because this has really taken way too long. I wouldn't be surprised if people have just given up on this Let's Play at this point. Considering it seems like all I do is screw up. All a Briel does is screw up. Alright, so... I guess... The best thing to do would actually be to... No, you'd have to do it about twice then. I'm trying to think about how to best do this. There really aren't any other ways up. There's just there, and that's it. Now this one, this level, does not appear to be the one that Naloth is on. So we need to go up. Hopefully, nine seconds will be enough time. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes. Now we actually have to get there. Safely, come on. Balance, balance, balance. Del Naga Upper Hall, lock level 40. Oh, God, it's locked? Why? Ah. Ah. ah! Splat, and he dies. That seems appropriate. <laughs> I think a Briel would jump at that point. <laughs> just like, it's not worth it anymore! It's just so frustrating! I'll never be a master wizard! An archmage! Just leap to his death. Alright. So if he's not inside, then maybe let's do something really crazy in Unorthodox. Let's go outside Telnaga and try to access the upper area from there. Probably I will listen won't up, work. Andrew, but make it quick. Yeah, listen to this. Get out of my way. Okay. Make so. it quick, Outlander. Yes, you're all so impolite, I understand. Nobody likes outlanders. I get it. Okay. Let's try to get way up there. All right. Here we go. Get ready for when nine seconds elapses. Oh, 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 it's starting to fade. Drink another one. Go, go, go. We're going to get to the top. We're going to take it all the way. No, we're not. Ah! Oh, and we somehow did not die from the fall. Well, that's good. But either way, two potions is not enough to get up there. Oh, didn't fall to our death again. Wow, apparently things are looking up. Or down. Huh. Now, I've been known on the Voltron Army forums to criticize the Let's Fail fad before, but I seem to be living it Speak right now. Up. Maybe I should call this thing Let's Fail with Morrowind, <laughs> or something ridiculous like that. It seems like that's all I'm doing. Alright. Still have no idea how to get to Naloth. I don't even really think it's possible at this point. Don't know, really know what else to do to get Yuleni to confess. I mean, I suppose I could just show up and bribe her. I don't know, try to get on her good side, throw a lot of money at her. What does the journal have to say? One respond, suggesting the matter is none of my business. There's also has been magically transporting. Mark and recall or divine intervention. Told master his conjuration is not his specialty. However, teaches conjuration. Haunting, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I really... Okay, fine. Abriel is going to try to do things differently. He's actually going to go to the uh, Mage's Guild. Quit talk to you, Lenny. I haven't much time. I don't know, maybe bribe her with some coin. He's probably not very good at it. Or maybe he can just intimidate her. Yeah. How does that sound, actually? Instead of just, I don't know, trying to... Well, alright, first he's going to try flatter. He'll give her some coin. He'll talk to her about the, the situation. Try to get her to confess and open up. And then when she refuses to, she'll cave. Or... He could go to the back to the Telvanni Mouths and talk about how he just suspects Yuleni as being the person 
whom he thinks is summoning the ghost. And of course mention the fact that of course he, uh, he destroyed the ghost. So, that should be fun. Alright. Going back to the council hall. Merrily, merrily, merrily as we go. Yeah, so Briel is very unusual. I agree. Knock. Speak, traveler. Galani Council House. 